Greetings, hi, the war owl greets you, and I'm going to be showing you here, really excited, some gameplay footage of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This is going to focus on the spray patterns. That's right, guys. You join a new game. What's the first thing you do? That's right, folks, unless you're a total noob, the first thing you said was check the spray pattern. So that's what this video is going to be about. Thank you very much to Prizes there with the, um, the creepy avatar for going in here and uh, sort of doing what I said. I don't actually have a beta key, you know? Valve really needs to send me a beta key, because I will totally, totally promote their game. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. So, thanks once again to Prizes for going in here, doing what I said, getting me some of this footage so I can show you guys some of the spray patterns. That's right, this is Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which will be coming out next year. Plugging a game I get no money for. All right. All right, so the first gun... I told him to check out here was the AK-47. As you guys know, that is my favorite weapon in Counter-Strike Source and 1.6. The one I specialize in and uh, have used competitively pretty hardcore. As you see here, he's using a movement exploit to move really fast, where you just strafe back and forth. So there's the spray pattern now. Now, that makes me feel very good, because first shot, perfectly accurate. Next shot goes up a little bit. It's going to make burst firing a little more difficult that the first two or three shots are not perfectly accurate. That makes it a little more difficult to use these weapons. As you see there, you're going to probably have to focus on spraying, which is uh, a little bad. Not what I was looking, not what I was, you know, expecting. I was expecting the same sort of first three shots or so are perfectly accurate. You can do burst firing. But it looks like burst firing is not going to happen in this game. Uh, it's going to be focusing on the spray pattern, as you see there. It, it was a classic T-spray pattern. It goes up, oscillates back and forth um, at a certain elevation, which actually looks like the elevation uh, goes up and down a little bit. Now I'm going to show you the uh, M4 here. Looks kind of the exact same as the AK, only uh, a little more accurate and clumped together at the corners there. So pretty much the same sort of thing going on here. And looks like he's trying some burst firing there. It actually looks like burst firing is going to be very effective because apparently you regain your accuracy uh, to a ridiculous extent there. He could just go click, 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 and then they're all perfectly accurate. So maybe that's how burst firing is going to work. You just go click, 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 instead of click, 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 click. All right, so this is the UMP. This is the only submachine gun they let you play in the beta. And... Check that out. It's sort of like a regular, uh, what I like to call a noob spray. However, it is a little bit like a, a mini T, if you can see that there. Kind of the exact same spray pattern as the AK and the M4. They probably use the same code for each of them. However, so it, it, like the first shot's perfectly accurate. Pulls up side to side. Just a little more accurate and a little more variation in the elevation. So there you guys have it. Some of the spray pattern stuff in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Very excited about this. If anybody else would like to send me footage, that would be cool too. I want to play this damn game!